Right now at five state health officials investigating a significant increase in E. coli cases. Stephanie Haynes live in the newsroom with what we've learned today. Stephanie. Stephen Carroll, the State Department of Health tells me it's investigating 20 E. coli cases, at least three involving children. Officials say it's not isolated to any specific part of the state. And I spoke to a doctor who believes he's seen three cases linked to this outbreak. Not the sort of thing you want going around before the holiday season. An alert from the Wisconsin Department of Health, an E. coli outbreak. Officials say late last week, it noticed a significant increase in a specific strain, 0157. Dr. Larry Lutwick of the Mayo Clinic in Eau Claire says it's no joke. Produces a toxin called toxin that can cause much more severe illness in the people who are infected. The symptoms include vomiting, diarrhea, and stomach cramps. Most people recover in a week. He said in some cases, the sickness can become life-threatening. The state is investigating one of those cases. This infection is not treated with antibiotics. It's rather treated with um, watchful waiting and support of fluids. Dr. Lutwick says you can get E. coli from contaminated food or water sources or contact with farm animals. While the state still investigates the source, Dr. Lutwick believes his three patients could have developed it from eating lettuce. Two of our three cases suspected, they suspected that it was from a salad or sal salad ingredient. In the meantime, he says one of the best ways to prevent getting E. coli is to wash your hands. And I spoke to several health departments around Milwaukee so far. I've not heard that they are seeing this specific strain. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Haynes, today's TMJ4. All right, Stephanie, thank you.